Zabayoni is a little bit like eggnog. It's sort of a sabayon of egg yolks and alcohol. It would often be made out of masala. I like a bit of kick, so I put um, some rum and some sherry in there. So you need to separate eight eggs. So you add some sugar, about 150 grams. And you start whisking. You have it over a pot of boiling water and what you want to avoid is um, the bowl actually touching the water because that means it can get really, really hot. If your eggs get too hot, then they start to go lumpy, they sort of scramble. You need to sort of whisk quite a lot and I'm just gonna pour in some rum, about 100 mils and some sherry. Using Oloroso, which is traditionally dry, but this one is a sweet version, it's really delicious. And then you just whisk for about five minutes. Quite handy if you've got an electric whisk, which surprisingly I haven't actually got. If it starts to go a little bit lumpy, just pull it off for a minute and give it a whisk. You can see around the edges there it's starting to cook. This is really nearly ready. It's tasting pretty good. I just want to add a little bit more booze so it's got a bit of a kick to it. So once it's thickened up and it tastes like it's got enough alcohol in it and it's cooked out nicely then you uh, either dollop it on the top of your Christmas pudding or you can just serve it in a little liqueur glass like this. Nice if you've got some biscotti or some kind of thing to go on the side. So there we go, simple zabayoni dessert to go on top of your Christmas pudding or as an option for people who don't really like it. You can serve it warm or in fact room temperature is really delicious too.